packing is a well-known problem that has found compelling geometry applications in computer graphics, such as texture atlas generation, artistic layout, 2D panel fabrication, and 3D printing. However, most of those problems assume that a set of shapes are given without any interconstraints, while in some other real-world applications, the objects are already in a physical arrangement, and the object movement must follow a partial order. For example, the yellow box with SIGGRAPH logo cannot be moved for packing unless all objects on top of it have already been packed. This transport planning adds an extra search dimension to the packing problem and makes it a transport and pack tap problem. In a first attempt, we only transport and pack axis-aligned boxes that can be rotated by 90 degrees around each axis. To address the tap problem, we first encode the access constraints into a precedence graph, and then proposed a learning-based method to find the packing order and orientations for the objects. Note that our method can work on both 2D and 3D shapes, and for simplicity, we explain the algorithm details using 2D boxes. Given a set of boxes with some initial configuration, we first extract three types of precedence edges. TB edge indicates top blocking. For example, E block the top of D, while none of the other objects blocks B, so there isn't any TB edge pointing to B. LAB edge, or RAB edge, means the access to the left or right side of the box is blocked for rotation. For example, E blocks the access to the left side of B, and C blocks the right. It is worth noting that when the left side of a box is attaching to the container, like A in this case, the box is considered being blocked from the left side, and we add an LAB edge pointing itself. The only condition for packing any object in its original orientation is that there is no TB edge pointing to it, so B can be packed in its given state. However, to pack a box under a rotated state, we need to further require there is no objects blocking the access to its left or right side. So if E is transport and packed, the left side of B becomes accessible and can be lifted and rotated for packing. Given the information encoded in the precedence graph and the target container, TAPNET starts to find the first object for packing, that is, E in its original state. The removal of box E will introduce an update of precedence graph, and packing E into the target container will lead to the update of the packing height map. Both information is transferred back to the tap net for next object and orientation selection, which is the rotated box B in this case. The whole process iterates until all boxes are transport and packed into the target container. In more details, TAPNET consists of an encoder, a decoder, and an attention mechanism. The encoder encodes both the static geometry of the input objects and the dynamic dependency information from the precedence graph. Note that under 2D, each box has two different states, original and rotated orientations. We encode each state using width and height, and precedence information using binary codes. The geometry information of the shape is static, but the precedence information is dynamic, which will be updated each time when an object is selected and removed. The decoder is a recurrent neural network. For each step, T, it takes the object selected in the previous step and the current height map of the target container as input, and pass the accumulated information to the attention mechanism with the encoder. The attention mechanism computes the probability of each item valid for transport and packing, and the item with maximal probability is selected to be the output. In this example, the first item, S1, is selected, 
and then the dynamic information, including the precedence encoding, previously selected item, and the packing height map needs to be updated. Moreover, the item coming from the same object, that's the different state of the same object, needs to be set as invalid. We train our network using reinforcement learning, with the reward function consisting of three packing quality measures, compactness, pyramidality, and stability. Our method is simple, efficient, and can be easily extended to handle some complicated cases. For example, it can be adapted to handle larger instance sets. If the network can only take four objects as input, but get six objects in this case, we select first four objects to pass the network. Objects F, E, B, C. Once C is selected by TapNet for packing and removed from the initial configuration, D is passed to the network for the next object selection. And the process iterates until all objects are packed. Our method can also handle cases when objects need to be packed into different target containers. For example, in delivery industry, packages from the same container may need to be shipped to different customers or distribution centers. Objects with different target containers are shown in different colors. Another important extension is to 3D, where the whole process is the same and we just have six different states for 3D objects instead of two in 2D. Here are some results on 3D cases. Please refer to the paper for more details. Thank you.